This is Rick Sandberg with Hawkridge Systems, and in this vlog I'll give a brief overview of the Equation Driven Curve Sketch Tool. Note that this is a sketch command, and as such we'll find it under the Sketch tab of the Command Manager in the drop-down to the Spline Tool. The Property Manager is a little bit different depending on whether in a 2D or 3D sketch, but we can do it in both versions. This should really be called an Equation Driven Spline Tool because it has nothing to do with the curve entities we find under the feature tab of the command manager. So if we start a 2D sketch and select the equation driven curve tool we have two different types explicit and parametric. Explicit is the form most of us are familiar with from high school and college mathematics courses. We define an equation in the form of y equals some equation in x and we'll give it some range of values in x from x1 to x2. The only tricky part is we don't need an equal sign in this. We just put the equation. So if I put something like 4 times sine of x and give it a range, maybe 0 to 10, we get a nice preview of our equation. It will tell us if we've input something wrong or have bad syntax. We're using basically the same syntax that we would in Excel or in other areas of SOLIDWORKS. From this we can do some other modifications and get some fairly interesting looking um, equations and splines that are going to come out of this. When we hit OK, we get a spline that is fixed in place and fully constrained. So if I do another one and look at the other form being the parametric type, what's this one all about? We have x of t, y of t, parameters t1 and t2. What is this t stuff? This is really referring to the parameter space of the line. You can kind of think of it like that, or more like the, the overall length of the, um, of the spline that's being generated. Although for 2D sketch, it really has um, a pretty good relation to the length and the, the range in, in x. So if I do something like y x of t is t and sine or y of t is sine t and go from 0 to 10 it's going to be a pretty similar result as to what we got when we just did an explicit equation we can vary things a good bit and see that we will actually get some differences so let me input something a little more interesting into my x of t something like 10 times exponent of minus 0.5 times t. So we get a very different looking form, but again, it's, it's generally going from x0 out to x10. So not too bad. We can, we can fully understand that one again. Let's get even a little more interesting. I'm going to give the x an offset by doing 5 plus maybe 4 times t. And in y, I'm going to do something like 2 times t plus sine of t. And now we can start seeing a variation. Um, we're offset from 0, so it's not starting at x0, and we're going out for a, a length that's quite a bit greater than just x and 0 to x and, um, xt. So it's related to our range in x, but it's not exactly the same. If we do a 3D sketch and do our equation-driven curve, we only get the parametric version. Don't even get the chance to do an explicit type. But this is actually a very powerful way to define our equation-driven splines in a 3D sketch. If we do something like 10 times sine of t, and our equations need to be in terms of t, I'll do 1 for y and 10 times cosine of t, we can actually get something that's about a semicircle. In fact, if we do pi or pi, it will be exactly a semicircle. And then we can start varying it and telling it what to do and why as it creates our curve. So we can try something like 
3 times t and you can see that it's starting to curve up. In fact, it's creating a helix and if I do something in a bigger range, it will definitely create a helix. Let's try something even a little fancier. I'm going to go back to my range of pi and do something else in y. I'm going to do 2 times cosine of 3 times t and see that we can cause our curve to go up and down in a cosine form in y as it's creating my semicircle. Lots of possibilities for creating equation-driven curves in SOLIDWORKS or splines. This has been a quick overview and thanks for tuning in.